seals and all the other products en masse by making sure that in Kenya it should be known that a window is this size, a door is this size, hinges are this size, and that way we can provide for mass production of these products so that we can reduce the cost of these products. If they are produced en mass, we, we leverage on the economies of scale and be able to produce at a cheaper um, price and therefore reduce the cost of construction of our houses for the benefit of those who want to own these homes. Coming to this project, this project is very important to us because it will help us sort out one estate called Mukuru here. Mukuru Kwanjenga here, this Mukuru place, and I was there, I think, a week before the elections. Mukuru here has 110,000 households on about 700 acres. And the story of Mukuru is a story that needs to be written because Mukuru is the only place you pay to go to the toilet. You pay 170% for water that others are paying in Karen and Lovington. You pay more for electricity than in any part of Nairobi. And yet, these are the people who are the bottom of the pyramid. So, this project, the first priority of this project is to get the people living in Mukuru to come and live here. The 3,000 shillings they are paying rent there, they will come and pay 3,000 year mortgage. Najua wakati nilikuwa pale mkuru, niliwaambia wakati huo ya kwamba ile rent munalipa tutaibadilisha iwe mortgage ili ukilipa hii nyumba hapa hiyo 1300 baada ya miaka 20 hiyo nyumba inakuwa yako <laughs> to provide them distant houses they don't have to pay to go to the toilet they don't to the governor we are going to work with all the other agencies so that these 3000 acres we can at least do between 400 and 500,000 housing units that will support the people of Nairobi as we do it elsewhere in Kenya. So, mimi nataka tuseme tukubaliane hivi. Tuko na mambo matatu ili tuweze kuwapatia mahali pa kuishi penye dignity mahali penye heshima hawa watu wanaoishi katika informal settlements tuko na mambo matatu ya muhimu jambo la kwanza tunahitaji ardhi na hiyo ardhi tutafanya kazi kama serikali na county kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo ardhi inapatikana na hiyo ardhi itapatikana na for uh, locals housing we will make the uh, the land available for free number 2 tunahitaji pesa ya construction financing we need financing pole <laughs> We need financing that can support us to uh, get finances at affordable rates for us to be able to do these uh, projects. The private sector already has come through. We have commitments from different developers who are ready to construct. What's it looking like? What is a one bedroom, two bedroom? and the rest of the infrastructure that are required. 
And then finally, we need an offtake plan. When the houses are complete, we need a mortgage system that is going to enable the people being, paying 3,000 shillings to pay for 15 years, to pay for 20 years, and own the houses finally. We are going to do the first two. I want to ask my good people, the legislators. Nini wabunge. Na waomba tuki tuki moja. Muni saidie. Karata mbaka aiku faulu. We are going to bring it back to parliament. And I want to ask my good members of parliament. It is the opportunity. In fact, the housing fund will give the government of Kenya the leverage to make sure that we can raise the money to provide mortgage for the ordinary people in Mukuru and every other part of Kenya to, to own a home. Please, good people. It's not too, too much to ask from those hustlers. It is not too much to ask. Nawaomba waishimiwa. Tapadhali. Yeah, nawaomba. Because it's the only thing that is remaining for us to actualize uh, this plan. At the moment, we are using the slum upgrading uh, fund. But you know, slum up upgrading fund can only go so far. The, the fund that will help us provide mortgage for one, two million houses is the housing fund. And I am confident that our parliament will work with us so that we can do the right thing and provide the financial infrastructure from construction to mortgage that will support the millions of citizens who today are living in informal settlements. Hapa katika um, this, this in fact, hii ambayo imeanzishwa hapa ni ya watu wa mukuru. Hii sahihi kwa hapa. Ya watu wengine itakuja. <laughs> itakuja badai. So, na tuta na watu wa mukuru and all the informal settlements so that tujue ni nani anaishi pale ni nani analipa rent pale ili wawe the first beneficiaries ya ile manyumba itajengwa katika sehemu hii so nataka kwanza niwashukuru um, ESCC kwa sababu hii ardhi hapa ilikuwa imechukuliwa na watu wengine kinyume na sheria this land had initially been grabbed by the usual notorious people and i want to congratulate ESCC for recovering this land so that we can use it for the development of social and locals housing here in nairobi two years ago the government decided that we were going to do this project. But the project has not quite moved with the necessary speed because of challenges of titling. I want to congratulate the Ministry of Housing and the Ministry of Lands. I talked to them 48 hours ago. They have done everything possible 